We are here today to review another chess pad. It's going to be awesome. We've got Lax Goalie Rat sponsored goalie, Sophia LaRose, Duke Goalie. We've got Team Lax Goalie Rat member, Evan. Evan, Sophia, how are you guys doing? Hey, how's it going? It's going great. Let's me. talk chess pads. Let's talk chess pads. We're going to talk about the STX Shield 400. Evan, what do you like about this pad? Let's kick it off. Uh, yeah, so this is the lower model of the STX Shield 600, which we reviewed in our last video. I have it right here. <laughs> um, the STX 400 is the model down, uh, as I mentioned. Um, it's pretty similar to the 600 in, in the features that it has. Um, the first one we'll look at is the floating chest plate, um, which, like the Shield 600, sits freely of the chest pad itself. Um, and it's got these great little features uh, similar to the 600, um, the folding line features here, which allow the goaltender as you move to say making a, a cross body save, um, it'll flex, fold into itself um, to give you a lot more mo uh, mobility um, and flexing in the chest pad as, as you use it. Um, so uh, Sophia, first off, what do you find you like about um, I guess this chest pad as a whole, but uh, looking at the floating chest plate itself first. Yeah, I think honestly, you just touched on it. Just the flexibility that I'm able to get from that chest protector specifically, you know, when I am going for low saves or even trying to go out for an interception or running around in 12 man ride. Like I feel like I'm not even wearing a chest protector with that one because it really molds and like moves with my body very well. I don't feel like it's stiff. Um, in any regards and then I do like the extra padding like right along the chest and heart just for the extra protection as well yeah and like all the chest pads that we've been reviewing this one is Noxia certified um, it has the um, uh, heart protection plate um, that all the STX pads have it's kind of hard to see uh, but we'll demo on the back side there but uh, it's this piece around here oh there that's better um, that uh, provides extra protection around uh, that chest area to prevent against uh, commotion cordis, um, which all chest pads need to uh, fall in line with now moving forward at the high school and college level. Um, they're actually starting to bring it up here in Canada too. So, um, so yeah, in terms of impacts um, to the chest area, do you really notice it at all? How, how does that protection feel? Yeah, no, I don't. I wouldn't say like nine times out of 10, if I'm getting hit in the chest protector, like I'm really not feeling it every once in a while because there is that lower part of the chest protector that I chose to take off of it. You know, if the ball for whatever reason misses the chest protector, you know, obviously I'm feeling that, but um, you know, some harder shots, I can feel the impact a little bit, but nothing really. I feel like it really like helps me out and protects me very well. Yeah, so you're talking about the um, removable belly pad here, yes. which you can take off of the pad. Uh, so yeah, one of the features that I really love about the whole STX line of chest pads is its customizability, um, whether it's the strapping system um, or removing pieces of the chest pad itself. Um, it, it really gives you a ton of options to, to fit this chest pad to your preferred needs as a goaltender. Um, so Sophia, how do you like to set up your chest pad sort of first off? Yeah, um, Evan, I completely agree. I think it does really give you the flexibility to make it like as tight or as loose as you want. You know, to start when it comes to the straps in the back, I think the chest protector, you know, you can throw that on very quickly, which I like. And I do double strap it in the front just to give, you know, make it a little bit tighter to my body. Um, and then from there, you know, I don't have to fidget. I don't have to fidget with it once I have it on. You know, I don't have to readjust the straps like it really locks into place which is great and then I do love the flexibility of having the choice to take you know the bottom part of the chest protector off as well as the shoulder pads um so I've taken both of those off you know for me less padding is more comfortable um to run around and feel comfortable playing so I like to limit the amount of padding I'm wearing um so my choice to take off you know again the shoulders and the stomach have worked great for me but I also have another bully teammate who has everything um, attached the chest protector and they really like that as well so I think the chest protector gives you the ability to customize it to your own liking perfect yeah 
So in terms of the differences between this and the 600 chest pad, uh, the 400 has these shoulder caps on it, um, which are removable. Um, you can take them off. They're buttoned up here. And then there's a Velcro piece on the inside of the chest pad that you can remove off of this. Um, one of the big things that we've seen from, from people who have talked about this chest pad is that this, um, this button does kind of come off at random moments and it doesn't sit properly. Um, I know you don't use the, you don't, you never really experience using these. So you wouldn't um, kind of know or experience that at all. Yeah. I'm trying to think if my teammates, I don't think any of my teammates have had problems with, you know, the button unbuckling, but I'm not super, you know, sure with the shoulders just because I don't use it. Yeah, and, and then the other big difference with these chest pads here, so I've got the 600 and the 400. It's got a little bit of a bulkier profile. You can see the mm -hmm. difference of the pads. Mm -hmm. um, I know, Sophia, you've tried both of these and you went with the 400 route. Um, what was your reasoning behind that? You know, I think I felt as though the white one was actually more firm than um, the one you have in your hand now, just because it says it has the extra divots it, um, you know, along the shoulder, I feel like I'm able to be, or the chest protector is a lot more flexible. Um, so I felt like I was able to move really well with it. I also felt like the length of the chest protector was shorter. So it sat more comfortably like on my chest compared to the white one. Okay, awesome. Um, one of the big things that we do hear about the, uh, I guess on the negative side of these chest pads is that the Velcro piece on the bottom for the straps uh, tends to wear out over time and the Velcro for the people who do use the belly pad tends to wear out over time and falls off. Um, I haven't used this long enough to really experience that, but have you found that in, in the past with using this chest pad? Yeah, I'm actually going to be in the process of getting a new one soon just because the Velcro is starting to, um, you know, wear off. And because I also do double cross in the front with the straps, the straps are really starting to get loose on me. So I'm not able to make this tight. Um, but then again, this chest protector, I've worn it for like three years. So it's lasted me a very long time. Yeah. Um, but I am in the process to get a new one. Yeah. And the, the other piece that people talk about is that, you know, as great as this floating chest plate is uh, with both pads, um, people do find that it, it kind of rides up sometimes on your throat guard. Um, have you ever noticed that or ever had any issues with that? You know, I personally haven't. I keep it pretty loose in the back um, so it sinks down on my chest and then tight, tighten it around, around my waist. So I personally haven't noticed it. One thing that I have noticed, but again, could just be a fluke with my chest protector because I've had it for three, four years is, you know, there are little pieces starting to fall out of the chest chest protector oh, interesting. um like little pieces of padding up by the shoulders like where the little divots are um a piece just fell out the other day of padding um but again i think it's just from wear and tear the cloth has kind of come out and so that's what made the padding fall out um but yeah it hasn't ridden up for me at all it's sat comfortably but i have experienced that in the past with other chest protectors okay awesome so SDX sells this pad and promotes it as an intermediary level pad. Um, and at a price point, it comes in at $129.99. Um, but I mean, you're a division one college goalie that, that uses this chest pad as well. So, you know, if you were trying to recommend this chest pad to anybody, who, who would you try and push that towards? I would sell it most to the audience where they're very active goalies. They really want to run around and they want to play comfortably and almost feel as though the chest protector isn't there. Um, you know, someone that is trying to move their arms all over the place, like know that the chest protector is not going to get in your right, especially if you take the shoulder pads off of it. And because it gives you the flexibility of just how tight or how loose you want it across your body, I think that's an added plus to make sure you're going to be comfortable while you're playing. Um, trying to think anything else that kind of like sticks out to me about the chest protector, you know, it's my go-to chest protector, but you know, I might switch to white for <laughs> the white one for a little bit, yeah. who knows, I have both of them. Yeah, yeah, and in terms of for myself, I, I really think this is, a, is an awesome option for, you know, a like middle school or high school goalie who 
the shots are starting to get a little bit faster, but you don't want to spend, you know, a ton of money on trying to buy, uh, you know, one of the higher level pads that comes in at that 170, 180 range. Um, like the Shield 600 is, is 170 um, on Lacrosse Monkey. Um, so if you're looking to try and, and get into that market and get a really solid chest pad, um, but at a lower price, um, this is a really good option for you. It, it, it's very similar to the 600 chest pad, which is STX high, high level option um, and gives you all, all those features that, um, that you need to feel protected um, while also giving you that range of motion and, and customizability too that uh, I think is really awesome in that a lot of chest pads offer, but STX in particular has, has a ton of really good options for that. <clears throat> when we talk about the, like the rib padding there, um, how's that? How's that? Because I know when we talked about other chest pads, you got hit in the ribs, you could actually feel it wasn't as bulky or, or wasn't as protective. How is it on this chest pad? You know, so I personally, is that the piece of it that you're able to take off technically? So the, the belly pad kind of fits like that lower abdomen area. Oh, okay. um, it's very much, uh, it flex fits around sort of the, the rib area there, the chest pad itself. Got it. um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, I would say, yeah, there are a couple times, Damon, like I can count them on my fingers in like my five year, or four years I've been here. I get hit with a shot, it'll hit the chest protector and it feels like I got the wind knocked out of me because it was such a hard shot. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I think that I feel protected very well. And like, I don't get really bruising around my stomach area. If I get hit with a shot, have a little impact, maybe a little ball mark through the um, chest protector, but you know, yeah. I think it's great and it protects the ribs well. Love it. And yeah, then and I will, Sorry, I, I will add to that too, that um, if you look at the chat, the padding pieces here too, they're, they're thick pieces mm -hmm. um, that have a lot more space in them. Like there is the, the divots and the flexing in it, but it can take the impact of, of a ball and distribute that force throughout the chest pad itself. Um, there's some other chest pads on the market that have really small uh, pieces of foam padding throughout the chest pad that really don't do a good job at that. So you kind of have to bear the, the, you know, the brunt of the force of a shot um, as you face it. So with this chest pad, um, you can kind of take it and you can see it not totally, but it, it distributes, it's able to distribute that force a little bit better um, than, than just taking a straight up shot. So, yeah. Awesome. And if a youth goalie does want the shoulder protection, uh, I know you mentioned taking it off for more mobility, but if you do want that shoulder protection, I mean, it's this one or it's the STX 200 are kind of your options that come with shoulder protection. Yeah. The Maverick Max has, has shoulder caps on it too. Like the lower version of, of the EKG Got it. top of the line one for them. Yeah. Um, but this one's probably like the only one that really stands out as having like legit shoulder caps. Although they're not like, I wouldn't say that they're like really, providing you a ton of protection it's very it's pretty thin here i'll pop it off here yeah let's really inspect no. that shoulder pad it's a pretty thin yeah, piece wow, of plastic so i yeah. i don't really know how much protection it is is giving you per se yeah um but you know it's better than nothing i guess <laughs> yeah if, if that's what you're looking for so yeah love it and Sophia, you mentioned being an active goalie, uh, that you are, I mean, you lead your team in ground balls, which is, which is pretty unique for a goalie. And it's not even close. Like, I mean, you're like way up here and like number two in ground balls is like way down there. So you're definitely an active goalie. Yeah, I definitely, I just like to get in and like, I like to get in the mix of the play and you know, there are times it just seems to make more sense for me to run out and get a ball as momentum momentum's going forward versus having a teammate like stop turn around and get the ball mm -hmm. um so I'm always looking to help make plays outside the cage to help my team out but I also you know being an active goalie I'm also restricted to the crease like I self-restrict myself so I go out when it feels comfortable and appropriate to go out you know I'm not going rogue all the time <laughs> so I think there's a difference between being an active goalie and then and being smart with it but also just being like sporadic and all over the place <laughs> Yeah, but you're not letting that chest pad second guess, second guess you, you know? No. Nope. <laughs> um, any sort of last thoughts, um, final thoughts on this chest pad? Um, 
Yeah, I think it's great. It's worked for me for years and I love all of STX products. Um, but yeah, I think just the biggest thing that sticks out to me again is the flexibility that you have with this chest protector, which I love. And again, like you said, the market price for it, um, it is cheaper than some other chest protectors out there and you're going to get great results with the chest protector. It's gonna protect your heart. You're not going to feel the impact you know, um, as hard when, when shots come. So I think it is a great option for people considering. Awesome. Well, thanks, Sophia. Uh, this is the STX Shield 400 chest pad. Uh, you can pick it up for $129.99 on Lacrosse Monkey. Um, pick it up today and give it a shot. Thank you. Wonderful. Perfect.